Good day. GeForce Consultancy Firm will present the internal analysis of Chevron Corporation. The list consists of company background, environmental survey, financial analysis, and critique of Chevron Corporation. Chevron's oldest direct ancestor is a Pacific Coast oil company which was founded in 1879 by Frederick Taylor and a group of investors. In 1906, Pacific Coast is merged with Standard Oil of Iowa to form a standard oil company known as Soco. In 1911, Soco emerges as an independent firm officially called Standard Oil. And in 1926, Soco merges with the Pacific Oil Company and the company name is changed to Standard Oil Company of California. In 1980, the government of Saudi Arabia nationalizes the Arabian American Oil Company. In 1984, Sokol changes its name to Chevron Corporation and the company purchased the Gulf Corporation. In the year 2000, Chevron combines its worldwide chemical operations with those of Philips Petroleum Company to form the 50-50 joint venture Chevron Philips Chemical Company LLC. And in 2001, Chevron acquires Texaco, forming the Chevron Texaco Corporation. In 2005, the company changes its name back to Chevron Corporation. And in 2017, the achievement of several commercial milestones helped lead to the startup of the Wheatstone project in October of that year. In 2020 to present, Chevron's leading the future of energy. It has ranked uh, second among U.S. energy companies based in revenue and ranked seventh among worldwide oil and gas companies. Moving on to the vision statement of Chevron, our vision is to be the global energy company most admired for its people, partnership, and performance. We evaluate Chevron's vision statement based on this criteria, so it paints a clear picture. It looks to the future, it's achievable, and has a sensible direction. However, it lacks uh, specificity and its vision statement is too broad, and we can enhance this by by adding specific qualities of Chevron to uh, define its identity. Chevron's leading by example when it comes to their values. So they have diversity and inclusion, leading performance, partnership, people and environment, trust and integrity. And they have this, the neurodiversity hiring program that targets neurodiverse individuals, a largely underrepresented spectrum of talent to bring diverse perspectives and skill set into the workforce. This program places neurodiverse participants in job roles that align with their capabilities and give them an opportunity to make valuable work contribution. They also have supplier diversity program, Chevron human rights policy, diversity partners and programs. They also work with over 25 local organizations and invests more than $485,000 a year in targeted programs that support education, community development, and environmental stewardship. They also have greenhouse gas abatement projects, methane management, lowering the carbon intensity of our operations. And they are very transparent in their documents, which would provide ways for investors to understand the foundation of their corporate governance. These are the executive officers of Chevron. So these individuals held key positions within the company, overseeing various aspects of Chevron's operations, strategy, and corporate function. They bring a proven track record of success across a broad range of experiences at a policy-making level in business, expertise in science and technology, extensive knowledge of governmental or public policy issues, expertise in finance, experience in global business or international affairs, experience leading business transformation, and service on public company boards. Moving on to Chevron's business model canvas. So Chevron positions itself to develop the affordable, reliable, and ever cleaner energy that enables human progress. For individual consumers, Chevron provides a reliable supply of energy products. For industrial and airline companies, uh, they rely on Chevron for high quality fuels and other energy products. French channels, uh, their products are sold in the more than 8,000 Chevron and Texaco retail stations across the United States. And it also operates a website at which 
Uh, it provides information regarding its activities, ongoing projects, and corporate organization. They communicate with customers and stakeholders through their websites, email and telephone support, sales team, and customer service centers, and they value customer satisfaction and feedback, which drives them to always enhance their products and services. Also, for their revenue streams, 80% of their revenue stream comes from selling crude oil and natural gas, and other uh, significant streams of the company comes from the chemicals, lubricants, power generation segments, and renewable energy investments. For their key activities, uh, they encompass oil and gas exploration, production, refining, and marketing of energy project, products. So the company also makes substantial investments in renewable energy and technology to enhance operational efficiency. And they, um, their essential resources includes physical assets, um, services, brand and reputation, intellectual property, financial resource, sales administrators, and human capital, such as engineers, geoscientists, and other professionals. Also, Chevron partners the company suppliers, joint venture partners in various exploration and production activities, research institutions, governmental and non-governmental organizations for environmental and sustainability initiatives. And lastly, for its cost structure, uh, it consists of costs associated with exploration and extraction of oil and gas, costs of refining and distribution of energy products, salaries and benefits for its employees, maintenance of physical assets, costs related to research and development, and costs of regulatory compliance and environmental remediation efforts. Now, let's delve to the puzzle analysis that comprises the political, economic, sociocultural, technological, legal, and environmental factors. So first, let's start with the political factors. And according to Makarty 2024, geopolitical conflicts and tensions in the Middle East, including rebel actions targeting ships in the Red Sea, are impacting the oil and gas industry, leading to price fluctuations. And then we have the imposition of trade regulations and sanctions by Western nations and Russia's oil industry following the Ukraine conflict has led to significant disruptions in the global oil production. And then we have the changes in political focuses in which the Biden's administration's focus on addressing climate change that lead to significant pressure on the oil industry. And let's proceed to the economical factors. So fluctuating crude oil prices have significant impact on all companies across various aspects of their operations, including revenue, profit margins, investment decisions, stock performance, cost management strategies, and market competition dynamics. And let's proceed to the socio-cultural factors. So the consumer's behavioral pattern significantly impact the demand for oil and gas in the United States, particularly in transportation choices, such as vehicle types and commuting preferences. So shifts towards electric vehicles or public transportation can reduce fuel demand. And let's proceed to the technological factors. So the oil and gas industry is experiencing significant transformation driven by technological advancements such as the Internet of Things, Big Data Analytics, Artificial Intelligence, and Automation. And let's proceed to the legal factors. So the antitrust laws aims to foster fair competition, prevent monopolies, and safeguard consumers from anti-competitive practices, and then the intellectual property protection, and lastly, in legal factors, the adhering of the government regulations like OH, OSHA and DOT, since the oil and gas industry plays a vital global energy role but also faces significant safety risks. And lastly, we have the environmental factors. So, the management emissions initiatives has a significant impact on the oil and gas industry, primarily by providing opportunities for reducing carbon emissions and enhancing operational sustainability. And we have the Paris Agreement, which is a legally binding international treaty, sets ambitious temperature limits, and drives changes in the oil and gas industry to align with the cleaner energy demands and heightened envir environmental accountability. 
And let's proceed to the major rivals of Chevron. So first is the ExxonMobil, which is the market leader and also put in direct competition with Chevron's initiative. And then we have the Royal Dutch Shell, which is a global group of energy and petrochemical companies. And lastly, the ConocoPhillips, which represents a more specialized competitor within the oil and gas industry. So let's now analyze the financial performance of Chevron Corporation. Chevron's liquidity ratios generally show improvements in liquidity from 2019 to 2022, indicating better ability to meet short-term obligations. The slight decreases in ratios in 2023 may indicate a small decrease in short-term liquidity compared to 2022, but still represent a reasonably healthy liquidity position overall. Meanwhile, Chevron's solvency ratios indicate a similar upward trend between the liability ratio and the debt-to-equity ratio from 2019-2021, reflecting its financial strength in meeting long-term obligations during that period. In 2022, both ratios decreased, with only a minimal increase observed in 2023. So, for profitability ratios, Chevron's COGS ratio slightly but consistently increases from 1.58 in the years of 2019 to 2020 to 1.59 in 2021 and 1.61 in both 2022 and 2023. This means that for every $1 of revenue generated in 2023, Chevron spent $1.61 in costs directly related to producing oil and gas. So in terms of gross margin, so Chevron's gross margin has remained relatively stable over the past five years, ranging from 0.39 to 0.42. This suggests that the company has been able to maintain a consistent level of profitability despite fluctuations in production costs and oil prices. However, the slight decrease in recent years suggests potential areas for improvement in cost management or pricing strategies. So for net net profit margin, Chevron's net profit margin has been volatile and generally low over the past five years. In 2020, a negative net profit margin is recorded as negative 0.06, suggesting that COVID-19 pandemic's tremendous impact during the period. However, the consistently low and volatile margins in other years suggest deeper issues that the firm need, needs to address. For the return on sales, it implies that for every $1 of revenue in 2023, Chevron earned $0.11 in net profit. So the highest ROS ratio was during the year of 2022 at 0.14. However, this is still a relatively low return on sales ratio. So for return on equity, though the graph shows an increasing trend after the significant drop of negative ROE in 2022, ROE has been low and volatile over the past five years, echoing the concerns identified in profitability metrics like ROS and net profit margin. Chevron's inventory turnover indicates an improvement in managing inventory efficiently, especially from 2019 to 2022. However, there was a slight decrease in 2023. As the turnover shows fluctuations but generally improved from 2020 onwards, peaking in 2022 before a slight decline in 2023. Overall, this ratio suggests that Chevron has been managing its inventory more effectively and using its assets efficiently to generate revenue with some variability in performance across the years. Chevron's cash flow ratios shows a positive trajectory from 2021 to 2023, indicating improved financial health and the ability to invest in growth. Despite fluctuations, the stable cash flow to revenue ratio suggests consistent efficiency in generating cash relative to revenue. However, the fluctuating cash return on equity and consistently high debt ratio signal potential financial risk and the need for careful management of capital structure and financing activities to sustain growth and profitability. For DuPont analysis, with values ranging from 0.02 to 0.22 over the specified years, suggest fluctuations in the effectiveness of the company in generating ROE through these components. The increase from 2020 to 2022, followed by a slight decrease in 2023, indicates changes in profitability, asset utilization, and financial leverage, affecting overall ROE performance. We now delve specifically into Chevron's value chain. By isolating this critical aspect of Chevron's operations, we aim to provide a detailed examination of how the company creates value across its various activities. Through an examination of Chevron's primary and support activities, this analysis aims to provide insights into the company's competitive advantage, operational efficiencies, and areas for potential improvement. Its activities for inbound logistics include the exploration and discovery of oil and gas reserves and extraction, field processing, and storing of its natural gas. For outbound logistics, distribution channels include retail stations, wholesale distribution, and direct sales of crude oil and natural gas to industrial customers or other refineries. 
For delivery and transportation, the company transports crude oil, refined products, natural gas, liquids, petroleum-based products, and liquefied natural gas across the globe through its pipeline and shipping company. Chevron also enters into contracts with customers for the delivery of specific quantities of crude oil and natural gas, often tied to production levels. So these are the activities for its upstream operations and downstream operations, and all other activities include financial management, corporate functions, risk management, asset management, and technological innovation. For its marketing and sales, Chevron focuses its marketing efforts on key regions such as the West Coast and Gulf Coast of the United States and Asia Pacific. Chevron distinguishes itself with the energy industry through its innovative marketing strategy, which encompasses both business-to-business -business and business-to-consumer approaches. Its unique selling proposition emphasizes the delivery of affordable, reliable, and ever cleaner energy for today and tomorrow. For the after-sales service, they achieve a good customer service through valuing customer feedback partnered with dedicated representatives. They have also utilized gift cards and have implemented the Chevron Texaco Rewards program to reward customers for its in-store purchases at selected stations. So let's now delve into its secondary activities. For um, firm infrastructure, the corporate governance of the company emphasizes the Chevron way, which also emphasizes cultural values, pursuit of excellence, and commitment to corporate governance. The culture of Chevron leadership is rooted in values like responsibility, trust, and integrity. Members of the board provide strategic guidance and bring diverse expertise. For human resource management, Chevron emphasizes investing its workforce and organizational culture, aiming to empower employees to reach their full potential in delivering energy solutions and contributing to human progress. For hiring, development, and retention, Chevron prioritizes diversity and inclusion. Additionally, Chevron comprehensive learning and development initiatives equip employees with the necessary skills to ensure safe, reliable, and efficient energy production. It also has succession planning to sustain organizational continuity. Chevron also conducts regular surveys and has employee support programs to increase employee engagement. For procurement, Chevron has production sharing contracts for Black 7 in Suriname and operating agreements in Venezuela. Chevron also manages the sale of natural gas liquids and natural gas through various contractual arrangements, including third-party purchases and sales related to supply and trading activities. The company emphasizes sustainability through various collaborations, joint ventures, developing ways to hydrogen projects, and joining circular economic initiatives. For technology, upstream technology delights a factory development strategy that involves drilling multiple horizontal wells from single well pods. Furthermore, the company's technical center is dedicated to developing and applying innovative technologies and digital solutions to support both current and future energy systems. Chevron also adopts a sustainable technology in which sustainability can be seen in its Chevron Technology Ventures and Chevron New Energies. To examine Chevron's resources and capabilities, we will do a VRIO analysis, a framework used to assess a firm's competitive advantage by evaluating its resources and capabilities based on four key criteria. This image illustrates Chevron's upstream asset allocation categorized by asset classes, highlighting the company's robust reserves across diverse geographic locations. Diversified operations. Chevron operates in over 180 countries with three main segments, upstream, midstream, and downstream. However, this strategy is commonplace among major oil and gas companies, diminishing its rarity. Strong oil and gas reserves. Chevron's large reserves enable it to meet demand and generate revenue, with the production capacity exceeding 1.5 million barrels per day in 2023. Chevron's organization of strong oil and gas reserves is a valuable resource that ensures efficient exploration and production contributing to the company's competitive advantage. Operational excellence. Chevron's commitment to operational excellence ensures high safety, reliability, and efficiency standards, leading to cost savings and productivity improvements. Developing and implementing an operational excellence management system is costly and time-consuming. However, Chevron appears to be organized to capture value from its operational excellence. Technological capabilities. Chevron leads in energy technology development through Chevron Energy Technology Company and Chevron Technology Ventures, driving industry advancements. This involves advanced systems, tools, and expertise that are not easily replicated by competitors, providing a unique advantage. 
innovation initiatives or research and development by investing in energy efficiency and emerging technologies like carbon capture, utilization, and storage, Chevron positioned itself as a leader in sustainable energy solutions. Extensive infrastructure. Chevron's infrastructure spans exploration, production, transportation, refining, and CCUS capabilities, supporting its global operations with resilient and efficient systems. Widespread geographic presence. Operating in diverse regions worldwide, Chevron's revenue streams are geographically diversified, strengthening its position as a global energy leader, expanding operations internationally, navigating diverse markets, and establishing a strong foothold in various regions worldwide require significant resources. While innovation initiatives contribute to a sustained competitive advantage, extensive infrastructure and global presence is a common denominator among participating companies in the energy sector, leading to competitive parity. For sustainability and environmental stewardship, Chevron leads initiatives in renewable energy, carbon management, water resource management, and methane reduction, aligning with global sustainability goals. Extensive network for transportation and distribution. Managed by Chevron Pipeline Company and Chevron Shipping Company, the sophisticated network ensures reliable delivery of crude oil, natural gas, and refined products to global markets. Diverse and highly skilled workforce. With over 44,000 employees valuing diversity and gender balance, Chevron fosters an inclusive culture that enhances its competitive edge in the industry. Chevron Corporation ranks in the top 15% of other companies and comparably for diversity score. Chevron's sustainability efforts and skilled workforce are sources of competitive advantage due to their rarity and development for competitors to imitate. On the other hand, extensive infrastructure, while essential for any major energy player, tends to create a level playing field among industry competitors since these assets are often similar across industry players of comparable size and scale, providing comparative parity. Chevron's corporate strategy strikes a balance between delivering strong financial returns to shareholders and progressing towards a lower carbon future. Chevron's strategy prioritizes delivering value and resilience and innovation. The company ensures reliable and profitable operations. Their commitment to operational excellence ensures efficiency while emphasis on capital allocation helps the investment wisely and effectively. Additionally, Chevron emphasizes innovation to navigate the changing energy landscape. Their goal is to develop and deploy affordable technological solutions that contribute to Arabo's energy system. Chevron's marketing strategy goes beyond short-term gains. They build long-term relationships with customers by taking a customer-centric approach. Furthermore, Chevron demonstrates its commitment to sustainability by actively working to minimize its environmental impact and investing in renewable energy sources. In our internal analysis of Chevron Corporation, several case trends and areas of improvement have come to light. Firstly, Chevron's diversified operations provide a balanced revenue stream and enhance resilience to market fluctuation and geopolitical risks. Additionally, their commitment to technological investments positions them as leaders in sustainable energy practices, offering potential improvements in operational efficiency and cost reduction. However, challenges persist in environmental sustainability, particularly regarding their carbon footprint and environmental impact. The transition to renewable energy sources also presents strategic challenges, initiating a proactive approach to adapt their business model to maintain competitiveness. Financially, Chevron has demonstrated effective management of its financial performance with improvements in liquidity and solvency over the years. Yet, concerns arise regarding Regarding high debt levels and fluctuation in profitability, cash flow, and activity ratios requiring careful attention and management moving forward. That concludes our internal analysis of Chevron Corporation. Thank you and have a great day ahead.